teacher of mine and uh, so far uh, I showed uh, basically three types of uh, models and the first two models uh, propose to understand the diversity of uh, colonial patterns in bacteria and uh, yesterday um, I, sh uh, I showed a chemical model which described the uh, motion of a comfort disc with uh, experiments and also uh, modeling and finally uh, numerical simulations. These are uh, biological and chemical models uh, but today it's, uh, I'd like to show an uh, ecological model and, uh, and some analysis. And the uh, important keyword is the uh, uh, following uh, competitive exclusion and also competitive immediate coexistence. And the competitive exclusion, the law of uh, this uh, uh, competitive exclusion uh, proposed by the uh, Gauze in Russia. Uh, and uh, he did uh, some experiment on the uh, microorganism which is so called uh, parasia. And there are two uh, different species and uh, if I mean the, uh, you culture independ independently then uh, they have a very, they show the very nice growth, cur growth curve okay so this is time, uh, this day but time axis uh, this is a sort of total uh, numbers of uh, microorganisms. So at first, and then uh, uh, growing up, and then uh, becoming some, I mean, uh, uh, steady state. It's a sort of, sort of we say, uh, carrying capacity. And same thing for another, I mean, uh, species. But if you culture, uh, both of them in a one petri dish or about one box then you can see in this case one species can survive but the other is fade out, I mean the decayed so it's so called uh, competitive exclusion and there's so two species if they are strongly competing to obtain the same resources then uh, they cannot coexist if the direct ecological factors are constant. Okay? So this is a very old but very, uh, I mean, the suggestive uh, law in ecological uh, systems. However, in our nature, we can observe uh, sort of coexistence of multi species even if they are, are very much strongly competing, okay? And there are some uh, explanations why such a coexistence, I mean, occurs. And the uh, typical one is the following. So in environment, uh, there's no such a homogeneous, uh, sometimes spatial and temporal inhomogeneous occurs in environment and uh, each I mean, species, they have their own uh, preferred regions. It's sort of the uh, spatial segregation, okay. peacefully. Okay. So this is intuitively very easy to understand. And the second one is that this is a, a sort of the, I mean, the uh, avoiding effect. For instance, so even if the homogeneous environment, if I don't like uh, Professor Kim, so maybe so I just escaped so sort of like this, same thing. So uh, some um, coexistence might be possible. And these are also uh, discussed in mathematical communities uh, uh, recently. But uh, another explanation is following. In nature, there are so many uh, I mean, uh, spaces there, so there are uh, complexity of ecological network among them. 
and then it may be possible to occur mediated cosmic distance by the by invasion of the a new exotic I mean species. And this is so-called species diversity, and nowadays we call it biodiversity. If there are so many, I mean, the species there, different species there, we may have coexistence by using a sort of the, a net complex network. Okay. And today, I would like to introduce uh, this explanation why we have uh, uh, coexistence. Okay. Okay, and then second keyword is competitor mediated coexistence. So what is this? This can be simply uh, explained the following. Suppose there are uh, U and V two uh, spaces system. Okay, suppose, and uh, U and V uh, cannot coexist uh, by strong competition. Okay. Okay. Suppose we think about that. So, of course, this is coming from the Gauss's competition, uh, uh, competitive exclusion law, okay, of course. Then, when the third exotic uh, computer space, w, say W, invade into the, uh, uh, this uh, native speed system, so what happened? And the question is, do U and V coexist? If so, we, co we say competitor mediated coexistence. Or if not, that is a sort of the competitive exclusion still occurred. Okay? So it's a very simple problem. Okay? Very simple. And in order to uh, consider uh, this problem, we uh, propose a uh, very simple mathematical model. Okay, it's so called uh, competition um, the diffusion uh, system. The following. Okay, uh, of course I will uh, explain. But well, this is a so called n spaces competition diffusion system, and U i is the population densities of the i spaces. Okay, and the spaces now is a capital N. And uh, so this is sort of random walk term. Di is the diffusion rate. And uh, so this is sort of, the, I mean, the uh, 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 coupling term. And you can see it's uh, only the, uh, at most, uh, bilinear. So very simple nonlinearity there. And Ri here is the intrinsic growth rate. If Ui and uh, if the uh, then population density is quite low, then dynamics is essentially given by this one. So that's why it's Ri is called the intrinsic growth rate, say, of Ui. Ai, uh, this is an interspecific competition rate, so because uh, usually it's, uh, uh, new, uh, new trend is uh, uh, limited, that's why so even the same uh, uh, species, we have to compete to it. And if the, uh, this is increasing, so growth rate is decreasing, okay? So this is sort of intrinsic, intraspecific intra competition rate uh, between the same species. And BIJ, BIJ is an interspecific competition rate. But you can imagine, so this is a compete with the other species here. And this is very simple, I mean, the nonlinearity, which is so-called Volta, Rotoka Voltera, uh, logistic term. Okay, this, this is uh, our starting point. So this is our model, and uh, we discuss uh, this uh, system in order to understand the competitor mediate coexistence for three spaces. Okay, so in order to do, we th we may think about n equals three. So like this. So this is, uh, sorry, okay, sorry, so this is three, but uh, uh, as a starting point, we just think about a two, two component system, sorry. So this is just a two component system, so two spaces competent different system. 
very simple. And there are a lot of mathematical results. And this is the same one, okay, here. Yeah. And they uh, assume uh, uh, this system in the uh, boundary domain omega with the uh, uh, zero flux boundary condition and also with the initial condition. This is non negative data. Okay? The very simple uh, two component the action diffusion system. And then uh, let me show some very important uh, information on the dynamics of the uh, system. The first one is uh, given by the Hirsch, and he said the following The sp stable attractor consists of only the equilibrium solutions. No limit cycle, okay? No special temporal uh, solution. This is very good information. And second one is done by Kishimoto and Weinberger. This is the, if the domain omega is convex, okay, then any special non-constant equilibrium solution are as unstable, even if they exist. Okay, so it means if we consider only the domain is convex, then important, uh, sorry, important means stable uh, equilibrium solution should be spatially constant because uh, we have this result in omega is convex, okay? So no pattern formation occurs if uh, in any convex domain, okay? So it means, so I told you two components, two component uh, uh, computation diffusion system, quite simple. But this is sort of, sort of the uh, counter example and done by Matano myself. And if we consider it a non-convex case, like a dumbbell shape, like this, okay? Then we have a stable, non-constant uh, equilibrium solution. Uh, okay, so roughly speaking, uh, anyway, so roughly speaking, so this is only U, U1, Maybe this, oh, yeah, sorry, this is U and this is V, okay, roughly speaking. So they can coexist, depend on the uh, shape of the domain. So, even if a two component system, the dynamics of solution is really depend on the shape of the domain. That has a little bit difficulty, okay? But now, from now on, we consider the omega, uh, com uh, omega is convex, a simple case, okay? Okay, and then we assume the following. Strong combustion, what does it mean, strong combustion? This is our system, but if you draw the neutral lines of this one, so, and this is R1 minus A1U minus V, so this straight line like this, and this is like this. If we assume the following inequalities, roughly speaking, B1 and B2 is very uh, big compared with others. B1 and B2 is very big, okay? So it means coming back here, B1 and B2 is very big with the interspecific is very strong, okay? So it's a, it means very strong conversion. If so, we can have the following. Okay, so, so this is, is a sort of intersection point of neutral clients. It means a, a constant equal solutions. And then in this setting, you can show the stability of four equal solutions. And this and this is stable, and this and this is unstable, so you can prove it. Okay, so what does it mean? This means this is uh, roughly speaking, this is uh, uh, that bistable system. And for any initial, uh, uh, positive initial condition, the solution converts to this or converts to that one. And this is, you know, this is only the V exist. This is only U exist. Okay, so it means the sort of the uh, competitive exclusion situation. And uh, mathematically speaking, we have the following. If the domain omega is convex, then the solution of this one combined to either 
this or this genetically. Of course, we have this critical point there. Okay. So it is very simple. Okay. Okay. But still, we have a, a question. If say if you put a subtractor here, for instance, okay. So the solution, whether or not this one, this one, we don't know. This is just it is either or. Okay. This is also second uh, question to discuss this problem. Okay. And this is sort of the I mean, dynamical simulation. Which species can survive in strong condition in, 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 in 2D? And this is a sort of the, I mean, the uh, parameter here, uh, 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 given here. And if we have uh, this parameter, I can explain later, then the, the, this is the initial condition. And the, this red one is just almost U equal R over A1. So this is, so, it, so this means Corresponding on this one, okay? This is R over A1. And this is V, okay? And uh, when we fix the parameter as follows, then, and then you compute that uh, 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 system uh, numerically, then this is expanding, expanding, and eventually this region is uh, given by you. Okay, so this we can say this is u is dominant, but on the other hand, this parameters. So this is just different here. Okay, that, that change. So at that time, uh, this is shrinking, shrinking, and disappear. So in this case, it v is dominant. So this, I mean, the uh, results say that the, the dynamics or this pro this question really depend on the parameters. Okay. In order to understand uh, this kind of, I mean, the behavior, there is one good information to answer this question. That is a traveling wave solution. What is traveling wave solution? Traveling wave solution following. So U V Z, and Z equal x minus C T, and C is velocity. So we can rewrite the previous uh, equation in, in one D case. So we can get this. So this is, I say, uh, uh, in the previous one, the ut. This is the uxx. Okay, so like this. Okay, and at the end, so in this case, it's so z equal minus uh, minus uh, infinity. So in this case. Uh, uh, let's say maybe this is wrong. Uh, oh yes, right. So uh, bias infinity u equals zero, and v v equals this one. Okay. So this is this is r two over a two. So this is a critical point. Okay, and this is the same thing here. V equals zero, and u equals r one over a one. Uh, this, is, this is the boundary condition at infinities. And the question is, can we have a solution? U and UV. And C. Okay, this is a uh, question. And uh, this, already, uh, this, I mean, the problem is already uh, solved by Kang uh, uh, and Fan. These are uh, two guys, my former student. And uh, they, say, they say the following, yes, this system has a solution, unique, that is unique. And also this solution is stable, okay? So this, this is already done. And also, very interesting is uh, this solution is, of course, just unique. And in some parameter regimes, you can also uh, describe this solution by uh, express form. For instance, here. So this is uh, just the exact solution done by Rod this is also um, one, one of my, my PhD student. And uh, so just we just, I mean, uh, using transformation on the parameters, but essentially the same. 
then you can see that u and v and c is given by the following. But roughly speaking, u and v is given by the polynomial or tangent hyperbolic. Yeah. So, okay, but this is, so later, this is very good information to, to know the, I mean, the uh, um, velocity, or my sign of the speed. Okay. And then, coming back to the uh, uh, previous one, so I showed the two cases, that if C is negative, C is negative here, so, so negative is this move, so U is stronger than V. Then this is expanding, so U is red, okay? And C is uh, positive, as that I mean, V is uh, stronger, that, that's why this is shrinking. So it means uh, this sort of dynamics is given by the velocity, uh, the sign of velocity, okay? So, traveling wave uh, solution is a very good uh, uh, solution which gives a uh, uh, information on the, uh, which spaces can survive. But it's only two um, competing spaces. Okay? Okay. And then, we assume the uh, following. This is the first assumption. We assume that for the uh, two, comp two compute spaces, we assume the following. U is stronger than V in the sense of traveling wave. So what does it mean? This means the following. At first, we assume that, I mean, that in two component system, U and V uh, are, are strongly competing. It means this one, okay? And if so, we have a traveling wave. And uh, in our uh, assumption, we assume that the, the velocity of the traveling wave is, is negative. So here. So it means U is stronger than V. This is an okay? This is an So if you think about only two component system, you can imagine this, they are very strong competing, and U is stronger. So if you have uh, the following situation, so that U is expanding, and uh, eventually you, you occupy the whole domain. This is an assumption, okay? on the two competing spaces model. Okay? And then we consider the third exotic, I mean the spaces, embedding into this UV system. And then what happened? That is our problem. Okay? In order to discuss this problem, we ha of course we have to think about the three component system. Okay? Uh, and then here is W here. So this is two component system with W. Okay. So we have to think about three component system. Okay. This is not uh, easy to analyze. So two and three is a very small number and almost same. But in this setting, two and three is a big difference. Okay. Okay, and but just this uh, small I mean, uh, change. So if we replace A1U by U and A2V by V, something like that, then uh, we can get this kind of one. So this is just one, 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 okay? So now we consider uh, this system, okay? This is uh, reaction diffusion system for U, V, and W with uh, zero flux boundary condition, with the initial condition, and the domain is omega, it's convex, okay? Okay, then I have to say something about the uh, W. Okay, consider the situation where a third competing space W embedded into the UV system, but at that time, is the extic space W stronger or weaker? Of course, I will explain what the meaning, but uh, Roughly speaking, it's, it's uh, the extric, I mean, the uh, uh, space is, is very strong. So maybe that, that uh, is, is also, also, I mean, uh, uh, attack the UV, okay? So, and then uh, there are two cases, W is stronger or W is weaker. And uh, now we are considered about this case. And this case is already done. 
and uh, yes, uh, uh, former student. And now we are consider is a situation where W is weaker. But what does it mean? We, we have to define, okay, in the following. What does it mean W is weaker? Okay, so now consider only the OD, very simple OD. Okay. And we assumed that the par uh, parameters or coefficient satisfy the following uh, situation. What does it mean? This black and uh, red point, this is the critical points of this one. For instance, for instance this one is uh, this is VW0. So this is uh, VW0, then you should be R1. So this is just R1. So this point is, uh, uh, this, uh, point, uh, is uh, R100. Zero, zero. Same thing for, for other uh, two, spa two spaces. So here, here is 0R20, zero, zero, and this is 00R3. Zero, zero, okay? So this is sort of a trivial critical points of, the, of this uh, OD. And we assume these two is stable or asymptotically stable and this is unstable, okay? We assume. And then more precisely speaking, what's it, okay, if um, we, cons we consider the, uh, this case in the absence of W, in the absence of W, then we may consider only the uh, UV plane. In the UV plane, we say that this and this is stable because we already assume uh, uh, this is a uh, 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 stable quicker point. Okay? And this is, uh, this is stable and this is stable, this is unstable. And here, um, a little bit different. Okay, okay. Here is a, a sort of U and W. This is almost the same thing. Okay, this is stable and stable. But here is a, in the absence of in the absence of U. The relation between the W and V is different from the, this one. In this case, two neural clients does not intersect just that, like this. So critical points are only two. This one and that one. And if you consider uh, this system in the absence of U, so just equation for V and W, okay? Then you can see in the, this setting, this is stable, this is unstable. And combine all three information, then we have this kind of relation. This is unstable because, sorry, because this is uh, unstable, okay? This is stable. So, okay, wait a second. Yes, so, yes, so this is stable, this is stable, this is unstable. In order to assume that this, I mean, uh, uh, no, no, so, so if we assume that this relation, then we have uh, this, uh, we have that, th uh, this relation. Okay. Moreover, if we assume that the positive critical point, positive critical point is given by the uh, this relation, this equals zero, this is zero, and this is zero. If there is a, a critical point, then uh, it is unstable or there is no critical, such critical point, okay? This is, I mean, the second assumption, okay? This case is just, a, 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 this case is just, I mean, stability of this one. And the second one is, is oh, sorry, the second one is assume that, I mean, the positive critical point, okay? There exists or if there is, if so, this is unstable, or it doesn't exist. Okay. If so, and I mean the, uh, these I mean the, uh, people prove the following: for any positive initial data, 
the solution generically combined to this one and that one. So what does it mean? So this means that uh, so, so any fixed uh, initial data here, so just uh, moving down and uh, combined to that one or combined to that one. It means W is very weak. Okay, that, that is our definition of the weakness of W. Even it, 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 W is embedded in the OD sense, the solution becomes a UV plane, it means W tends to zero. Okay. Okay, so this is a, a, a sort of. Yes, uh, this is just, I mean, uh, rough, I mean, uh, it's support here, okay, here, and then moving here up, and, and then this is unstable, that, 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 this saddle, okay, and coming over here, or this is that moving here. So this is a, a kind of very rough picture. And then we define by the following, I mean, the, uh, uh, assumption, the ex ex thick, uh, space W is weaker in the UVW system. Okay, this is definition. Okay, and the question is, if all the computer space can move randomly, so what happens? In all the cases we don't, but if they can move, that is another, uh, that's the second uh, main problem. Then we have to think about the uh, reaction diffusion system. So this is a new term here in omega, omega is convex, and initial condition, and zero flux boundary. And the uh, parameters satisfy the relation. okay? Okay. And then, uh, what does that mean? Um, yeah, this is just a debug, just a remark. If the diffusion rate D1, D2, D3 is very large, it's very large, so that it means that uh, in the, probably in the first lecture I explained uh, this paper, and if the diffusion is very big, okay, so, so every solution should be a special constant. That means the solution is, is uh, I mean, uh, given by the information, by the OD. And in OD, we have uh, no, uh, uh, competitive immediate coexistence of crowd because uh, uh, W is ten to zero. This is the D one D two this very big one, but on the other hand, if D one D two this is very small, we also have the same story, but quite by using quite a different uh, uh, method. Okay, so Daniel Nagida and uh, Hill Horst, uh, as many people. So now we think about. We are think about uh, di that uh, diffusion uh, radii are uh, not necessarily large or small. Sometimes very, this is a very, very uh, uh, mediate value. So what happens? This is this is still que question. Now we consider this case, but D one D two this is not so big and not so small. Okay, with the same initial boundary condition. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, so this is just a note, a uh, remark. If U is stronger than W, okay, then in the previous result, we say U is also stronger than V. So it means U is the strongest among the three. So you can imagine, probably you occupy this domain because U is very strong. Of course, we need some mathematics, but uh, intuitively this is correct. That's why we assume the uh, uh, opposite case. W is stronger than U, okay? What does it mean? This means in, when we consider uh, this uh, two, com two com competing spaces in the absence of V, then W is like this, okay? This is assumption, because uh, we, uh, we assume that this case is a tri uh, not true, but uh, uh, we can uh, uh, expect easily. Okay, and then I will show some new, new mega simulation. Okay, 
uh, for uh, fixing uh, these parameters D1, R1, B1, to some etc., etc. And uh, we take B23 as uh, three parameters. Okay. And we, we con compute the uh, uh, four cases. This is B23.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8. And just 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 a numerical simulation, so not so big, difficult, okay. And then so this is initial condition. What it is? And uh, this U, and this is V also. Maybe it's very hard to see, but this is W, okay. And in this case is okay. At first you you may uh, forget this one. At first uh, this is uh, uh, this. Uh, red and blue are there, and then this guy is just invade randomly, okay, and the bigger one and the small one, etc. And uh, uh, what happened, okay? And uh, in this case, you, you know, so between the uh, relation V and W, I told you uh, V is always stronger than W. That way, probably uh, this guy uh, disappear. I think. Okay, and I will show very very fast. So, maybe I, maybe I stop here. So it means W D meter is zero, and then the final uh, I mean the interaction between U and V. But in this case, it's a, um, oh, you can see this is a so, so small. This is a so you can see sort of the uh, different color. But this is a, a, a W exists here. Maybe I can explain later. But it, so this is not U and V. This is this is W. This is U. This is W, and this is V. And then. Like this, and uh, finally, uh, we couldn't have uh, we couldn't have the uh, computer mediated coexistence, but uh, uh, only the V exists. Only the V, not the U. Okay. And this is B two three point two. And how about point four? Only the only the uh, twice. Maybe I stop here. So you know, in this is very clear. This is this is W here. Also, this is W, and and this this is U V and this is W. Hmm. Maybe just stop. Okay. So so okay. So final one so like this. Okay. So in this case is after a large time the omega is occupied only by V. But this is uh, very much compli com complicated and uh, it's so called computer mediated coexistence is uh, occurs dynamically okay. But uh, this is only the uh, uh, 0.2 and 0.4 that's all. Of course this is very interesting to understand okay. And how about point six? Like this, and this is sort of the uh, ring. I mean, uh, concentric ring, and expand here. But this also coexistence, but dynamic, but a little bit uh, simple. Uh, I mean, the structure. And how about here? Very simple. Okay, very simple. Okay. Yes, so like this. Very simple. So, uh, 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 this, these results show the following. Oh, B23 is 0.2 or 0.8. So there's, there is no, there is no, I mean, the competitive, competitive, uh, 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 coexist. But um, B23 uh, is 0.4 and 0.6 we have. Okay. And how can we, uh, or how can we 
study this problem. Okay, this is our next, this is previous one, just numerical simulation, okay, that's it. And then, at first, you can see uh, this is just a snapshot when B23.2, but I showed that this is a, a U, V, this is W here. And this is moving this way. So, it means, looks like a, a three space traveling waves. This is also on that, okay? And this is moving this way. And uh, so if we have a traveling wave solution for UVW, the solution should uh, satisfy the following, okay? So this is the equation. I told you this uh, uh, UVW equals Z, Z equals X minus CT, this is C velocity. And this is Z is a new variable, yeah? And uh, you can see it here. And then uh, uh, plus mi uh, minus infinity. W should be zero. So W should be zero, okay? So, in this, I mean, the space, we have a sort of, I mean, the trajectory or orbit at plus infinity, at plus infinity uh, uh, here, and uh, I know, uh, minus infinity here, and plus infinity, and then we have a sort of the uh, heteroclinic uh, orbit with some parameter C mathematically. But this problem is very hard. Very hard. Okay. But it's, you know, so uh, as a, a trivial result we already done. It means in the absence of W, so if W is totally zero, okay, then, so, and then if we assume that this one, uh, uh, minus infinity is we have this one, and plus infinity here, then this, I mean, the, uh, is, is, I mean, the satisfy this one because W, w equals zero. Okay, so we have a travel, we have a trivial solution of this problem when W equals zero, which are given by the uh, UV system, like this. So, Kanon and Fen already uh, showed the existence. Okay, so we know the uh, traveling wave when uh, we assume that uh, W is identical zero. And also, uh, recently, uh, this traveling wave is also uh, stable in three spaces model. Okay. Of course, two space model is trivia, uh, not to be already done. But in, even in three space, three uh, uh, space model, this is stable here. So this is really trivia, trivia solution. And but the question is: Is there any other uh, traveling wave so connecting uh, two critical points, say, say like this? Okay. But uh, so this is very, I, I told you that this is uh, very much tough and unfortunately we have not yet uh, showed the existence of tra non-trivial travel with solution. This is not so easy for us. But quite recently, so we have very nice uh, result, not, not nice, we have uh, some result. This is also exact traveling wave solution occurs in some uh, parameter regimes. And uh, in the previous is uh, Lorica myself, I mean, I showed the exact solution in a two, com two compute spaces. Then we just extend the I uh, idea uh, to uh, show the exact traveling wave solution. And this is just, just one of the examples. So we assume the following, okay? Just example. Then UVW given by the uh, polynomial of tangent hyperbolic. Okay, so it, it's very good information. And but, uh, so, okay, okay. And then uh, the profile is like this. U is like this, V, and W is very tiny, but so like this. When we fix parameters as follows, then the solution of this one is given by this one, and this is a special profile. 
Uh, this is a sort of the, a very uh, a small result. But by using this result, we have the following res uh, result by using the, uh, maybe uh, someone already knows the auto. Do you know the name auto? A-U-T-O, auto. Auto is a kind of the uh, numerical method to track the bifurcation curve when some parameter is changed. Okay. And now, this is our, sol our exact solution, okay, here. And by using the auto, I mean the numerical method, which, call, which is so-called auto, then we can draw the uh, uh, bifurcation curve like this. And then like this, okay? So what does it mean? This means the following. If, if, if you fix the parameter B to 3, say, point may 4, for instance, okay? So we have two traveling, uh, non-trivial traveling waves solutions, okay? And the, and the, if uh, the B to 3 is quite small, so zero, so we don't have, okay? And uh, so this solution, this exact solution here, okay, then that is this one. But if fix uh, zero, uh, 0 0.75 here, here, and the bigger one is given by this one. And this zero means that uh, this is, uh, this is a velocity positive, this is negative. So this is moving this way, and this is moving this way, okay. And also, uh, I told you before, also we have a trivial solution, W equals zero. So when we f you fix uh, the parameter B to 3 is 0 0.75, for instance, then we have three traveling waves. And this is uh, uh, only a trivial one. The other two is a non-trivial one. So we have three traveling waves uh, by using the numerical uh, method. And also, numerically, we just checked the eigenvalues of the linear uh, equation of the solution. Then we say this is stable. This is not not numerical. This is always proved rigorous way. And this is uh, uh, this is unstable branch. This is stable branch. Numerically, what does it mean? This means for fixed anyways here, for instance, for point four, uh, point four for instance. Then we have uh, two stable traveling waves and one unstable one. And for the two st uh, stable traveling waves. One is a uh, trivial one, the other is a non-trivial one, okay? So this is just, just information by using the uh, exact solution and also numerical, uh, I mean, the tracking method. Now, oh, almost time. Oh. Now, we consider the following. We have a two traveling wave. One is a, a trivial one. The other is a non-trivial one. So like this and like this. And we put the upper half of the domain, we put this one. So this is only U, this is V. And this is a trivial one. And here, uh, I mean the lower one is, a, is a, just is the three, this one. So it means this is all same U, and this is the same V, but this is a W. So we specify the initial function as follows. And here, is, this is just u. This is also v. But here, w, OK? And you can imagine if time is, uh, if the, uh, I mean, the uh, time is going on, probably at first, this is moving this way. This is mo mo this way. So the solution should be so like this. Just, just I mean, the, uh, guess. And I will show. So this is moving this way, but this is moving this way. And eventually, we can get this one. So not so surprising. But how about this one? Same thing, moving here and moving here. But very complicated. So it's very complicated, but so you can see a sort of the dynamical coexistence of U, V, and W. Okay? Here. 
okay so we still and I uh, we, we, we are not understand why we have such a difference when B2 change from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 Okay, and then uh, this is a snapshot of when B23 uh, is 0 0.4, so it is a, like a snapshot, but the interest point following. Where is the interest point? In, yeah. So, suppose uh, this is just uh, coming with this one here, and then uh, almost touch, but you know, so then uh, this is uh, going back like this, okay? So, it's a sort of reflection occurs, sort of reflection occurs. But on the other hand, here, this is blue, blue, I mean, the, that is coming here, then this is annihilation. So it's very much complicated, but by using two mechanisms, we can have very splitting, uh, very fine, uh, strange pattern of color. But this still coexist. Okay? And how about the B23.6? And uh, yes. This is an unbelievable, very beautiful rotating traveling wheel, uh, traveling, uh, rotating spiral car. Okay? And how about the point eight? S same thing, but uh, th 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 no more, I mean, the, uh, have a traveling, I mean, spirals, just, just very simple. Okay. So, so many uh, diamonds occurs when uh, you change B to three from point two, point four, point six, point eight. And the question is, how can we understand such a complex pattern? Okay, so when I told you, when a uh, uh, two-component system, extremely simple, I told you. But if th this is a three-component system, it's ex extremely uh, complicated. So how can we understand? That is our question, okay? Oh, at eight minutes, maybe impossible. <laughs> Okay, so this is just, uh, just I mean, uh, checked, okay? For instance, uh, for instance, this point four, for instance, this one D case, maybe, uh, okay, so maybe I just skip, may I skip? Hey, you, can, you can use your trade session time. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> okay, then, okay. The, oh, what is this? Okay, at first I just showed a 2D case. It's the line. Okay. A 2D case, I already showed that we have a two stable trapping wave. One is the three component, the other is the two, co uh, two component system. And we artificially, is so like this here. So this is. Uh, 2C. Yeah, so 2C? Yeah, yeah. My fault? Okay, so this is U. Okay? And this is U. Okay? And this is V. This is V. And this is W, okay? So like this. So this is a kind of interaction between the stable two traveling waves in two dimensional. And then you can, we can see sort of the uh, variety. The same thing, we consider 1D case. And 1D case also we are we, uh, we inter interested in the interaction. What does that mean? Interaction in the following. Uh, this is U. This is U. And this is V. Okay, and uh, so this guy is moving this way. It means that this is moving this way, and we assume this is W here. So this is moving this way. So this is moving this way. Of course, uh, this is finite. But if this is a yeah, so it means that this is sort of traveling wave in 1D. And this is moving this way. This is also moving this way. And then we consider the interaction of this one. 
So what happened? And then this axis is a space, 1D, and this axis is time. And at first here, this is, uh, uh, and, uh, and then, yes, and then this is U, this is V. And this is a black one, this is W. So this is moving this way and this is moving this way here. Okay. And then uh, this is faster than this one, and this is here like this. And then at some time, this is almost close, okay. And, and almost collide. But then we have sort of a, a, a deflection here. But in this case, B2C is 0.6, it's, a, it's almost the same velocity and moving here. And then we have a very nice a new, I mean, the traveling wave, so called homoclinic time. And mathematically, we ha you, you, you can have the following. If there are two uh, stable traveling wave, but the, uh, the velocity is almost the same direction. And in some situations, then you can prove the existence of homoclinic. Homoclinic means that this kind of one, homoclinic that here, this is U, and this is V, and this is W. And this is a new traveling wave, okay? So this is, so this is like this. But on the other hand, if this is much more faster, then no more uh, have a chance to make uh, this one. So this is just, uh, this is uh, wider and wider. This is just one day case, okay? This one day case. And then in this case, we have uh, this, uh, this kind of pattern. And uh, so here we have this one. And uh, so this is, uh, in this case, if a very nice, I mean, uh, spiral wave. Uh, so, so this spiral is given by the homoclinic, homoclinic traveling wave. But this is very uh, familiar in chemical reaction. It's so-called uh, Belosuk-Dabuchinsky reaction. It's in in, in nonlinear chemistry, chemistry, it's very well known. And here is nothing happen, okay? So in order to understand this one, at first we have to consider just one D case. This is just also numerics, okay? But if one D case is, even the one D case is a little complicated pattern. So this is the first step, okay? Then now, so we are uh, studying such an interaction between the uh, two uh, traveling waves in one D. Okay? Uh, what is this? Oh, maybe I'll skip this one. Okay, so finally, uh, this is uh, now uh, uh, we are still going on, but uh, in this case, you can see uh, there's no more um, in the rotating pattern, because this is quite faster compare with this one. So it is very fast. That's why uh, no chance to rotate. And f uh, finally, we are not so interesting pattern. We have not interest pattern. But in this case, this is fast. I told you, this is slower. And then we can see the following. So this is very fast. This is very slow. And then uh, uh, this is sort of the rotating here. And uh, finally, we can get this kind of uh, funny pattern, and like this, okay. Uh, this is, uh, this, I mean, we say t uh, tip, core, is moving this uh, almost constant. Okay, so what does it mean? This means the following. This here, this is, I mean, the, uh, we say this is a front wave, but given by the two components. And uh, uh, so this is uh, uh, given by three component system. But this is moving this way. And this is moving, say, maybe this way. I, I don't know. But you can see is a uh, shape is very almost uh, constant. And roughly speaking, this is, uh, so if we consider this solution in R2, 
Then this is almost straight line like this. Okay? And this is also straight line. And uh, this is given by the uh, three component traveling wave, and this is two, com two competing traveling wave. Okay? And then it's a sort of the wedge shaped traveling wave. So this is really new uh, uh, types of uh, traveling wave. Okay? And they probably, uh, so maybe I will show this some. So it doesn't move. But anyway, so this is moving this way and this is moving this way. And then we have a new traveling wave. That is given by the interaction of the two and three spaces. Okay, and then uh, this is a kind of conjecture. Why conjecture? We have not yet proved. And conjecture is following. So. Uh, let's say. The important thing is this angle. So there is some critical angle, theta c. Just depend on the VF, v, v, VF will be the velocity of this one. And then there is some critical uh, uh, angle such that for any theta belong to this one. So there exists a wedge shaped traveling wave like this, which consists of a planar, uh, which consists of planar two spaces and three space traveling wave. So like this, okay. Okay. Yes, and, and particularly when uh, theta is, is some critical value theta c, then eta, this is pi over 2. So this is just, I mean, a vertical, so moving this way, okay? So this is a uh, sort of the conjecture, but uh, probably, I don't know, in after uh, half a year, maybe we may, we may show the proof, okay? Uh, okay, but anyway, maybe... I should stop. Thank you for your attention.